So this one I found on Pinterest. I'm not going to take any credit for it. This is a case from a gal named Connie Babbert. And she is a demonstrator that I used to follow all the time. Like when I had card class, basically every month I'd go check out Connie's blog at Inkspired Treasures, I think it is. Did I write it down? Yep, Inkspired Treasures. So ink, like me, gathering inspiration. Hers is ink, Inkspired Treasures. So many cute ideas. I love so much of her work. And I kind of like, I, I lost touch with her. I hadn't like been over to her blog in a while. And I happened to see this card on Pinterest. And I was like, oh, Connie, what a beautiful, beautiful card. I think maybe she used some of the um, metallic ribbon and I didn't have any more of that. So I popped that little bit of color on there too. And she might've used some other um, bling on there too. But I loved, I think what it was, was the cinnamon cider. First of all, this piece of designer series paper is from the flowers for every season designer series paper. I thought this was so ugly. I was like, what am I ever going to do with that paper? So I think that was another part. Of it. I was like, Connie, she used it and I like it. So if you can kind of see there's the backside of that flowers for every season, but I don't know, that just didn't do anything for me. And then she put it on this card and I was like, it's perfect. That's exactly how you should use that designer series paper. So, and I loved the stitching too. So this is kind of like that city skyline, only it's upside down. So we'll, I'll show you that when we make that one. But I just, I loved this card. So I was like, okay, we're doing this one too. And we're making this at class today. That was the other reason that I'm doing it here on Facebook Live. Because I knew I wanted to show everybody at class this cute card. And I'm like, wow, well, let's just show everybody on Facebook Live too. So thank you, Connie. I'm try not trying to take any credit for your card. I just loved it and thought lots of people need to see this. So, okay, let me grab what we need here. Make sure I've got it all. We'll get our ink. These little babies. Okay, so let's get the card pieces. That's what I really need to be doing. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so this time we are again starting with a crumb cake card base. This one is the, let's see, this time we went along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. And that one actually isn't even scored. Look, look at that too. I don't know what happened with this. I need to go grab my trimmer and my scorer in one thing, because we need to fix that up. And apparently I never actually scored this. So I'll be right back. So let's see, we're going to pop this thing in here. We're going to line this up at just a titch under because I think I just want to trim the whole darn thing. Ooh, what is going on? It's almost like there's something, something on my card. Oh, look at that. I made a big mess of that. Okay, that's going to be the back of the card. Don't worry about that. I'll fix that later because I don't have another piece of card stuck right now. I'm not sure what I did there. But okay, let's score it. We're going to score it at five and a half inches. Okay. Yeah, weird. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Not worrying about it now. Okay, get all of this off of here. There. Okay, so that'll be our card front, okay? <laughs> I know, Sue, I love it also. Here, this is what we're going to do. This is bugging me. i got to trim that off a little bit. There we go. Okay, that is good there. Now we also have a piece of cinnamon cider cardstock. This one, all right, let's just get that card base right out of the way. Measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then everything else is scraps other than we need one piece of crumb cake, that piece right there, that measures three inches by four and a quarter inches, okay? So let's see, we will do, we've got a bunch of, die cutting and embossing. Okay, so we're gonna just scoot that right up there. Do, 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 do. We only need to do this stamping though. So let's do that with this little, I thought of you today. Cute, right? I thought of you today. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so there we go. I thought of you today. And now we can do our die cutting. So let's do that. Okay, this one and this one. Where are all my dies now? <laughs> okay, so with our platform, we've got a few things we need to cut here, okay? So, oopsie-daisy. This is a piece of cinnamon cider 
cardstock. Actually, let's pull it. Maybe we'll pull it back here because we've got a number of things we need to die cut. Okay, so this time I am going to remember to do both pieces. So we've got our cut around the outside and then the stitching on the inside. Then this is some of our awesome, this is like the brushed metallic paper in, I'm going to say copper and bronze. So we're going to lay these guys down here. We're going to do our leaves and our stitching. I threw them like over here from the last card and now I got to figure out what do I need here? That one and that one, I think, right? Okay, so we're going to do that one on there. And that one on the inside, and then this one. This one looks like a heart to me, or a spade. Maybe more like a spade, right, from cards. Okay, so you just have to kind of work these until they, and you know what, honestly, if the stitching isn't perfect, that's kind of all right too, because, you know, in, um, um, in nature, things aren't always perfect, are they? Okay, what else am I looking for? Oh, here, let me show you. So I wonder if we're going to be able to, we might have to do this separately. So these are the um, Tasteful Labels dies. We're going to use that little baby label right there. I'm forgetting. Oops, <laughs> it's in the back, Amy. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. What I was trying to figure out is if I have room, I think we're going to do it later. Actually, we'll do that one later too. Let's just do these three right here. So we got to run a couple things. So we're going to do these. So sorry if it wiggles. Turn your heads away for a sec. So we're just doing the die cutting and then the stitching on the inside of the leaves with this one right here. Because then we have to do the other little bit. Okay, so how about that? Very good, right? And then we have this one. Got to keep these organized to get them down to class too. I don't forget anything, all right? This one and this one. So we have those there. Then here, this is what we want to do, the fun of, so let's put that one. Where's my card? I'm trying to make sure. I'm going to go that way on there. And then this is the one. So you're just going to lay this, like I said, doesn't it look like um, a city skyline? So we're just going to lay it, but upside down, we're going to lay it maybe right about like that. And we're going to so this is just gonna kind of emboss on there too. And then we've got this, I thought of you today, and this one like barely fits on here, but the stitching um, kind of goes around the edge too. So it's a little bit bigger than you think it is. When you're looking at it, you're like, it's not even gonna fit that sentiment, but it did. I'll show you what I mean. See, perfect, right? It just went around there. And then isn't that cool? So it looks like, again, looks like a city skyline. Almost there, right? Okay, so we got those. Next, we need to do our embossing. So let's get that out. We'll get our other embossed piece and then we can put everything together. Okay, so we have, this is the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. Okay, and we are gonna use that with our piece of cinnamon cider cardstock. Pop that in there. So I've got my Platform number one, my 3D embossing folder, and then my, what is that, platform number four for the 3D embossing folders, okay? That right through there. And I think we are ready to put things together, okay? Woohoo! I love that, that tasteful textile embossing folder. Awesome stuff, right? Okay, so here we go. We can just add this one. Oops, I don't know where it goes. <laughs> it's like, as soon as you set it down, it curls itself back or something. I don't, I don't really understand, but it does seem like that happens. Okay, so we're gonna put this piece right on here. Okay, and then we can add this one. And we're gonna wanna use quite a bit of, see, it like curled itself back away somewhere. I don't know, it's craziness. because. It was just running, right? It's running perfectly this whole time. Okay, so next we are gonna add this one right about there, right? Very versatile, yes, it sure is. Okay, we have this one right here. I'm gonna put the DSP along the bottom like that. 
Then we need some dimensionals behind all of these things, except not that one. It looks like I didn't put anything behind that one. Okay, so we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals behind this leaf. Okay, and that one, and our sentiment. Okay, so let's do this big leaf. I know the fall, it's like those tan, yeah, I think kind of a monochromatic almost, right, with just the tan colors. Okay, so we're gonna put this one right here. We're just gonna just add some adhesive. Actually, I'm gonna put this sentiment on next and then we'll kind of add the other things in around it. Okay, so we've got our I thought of you today can go right there. This one we're gonna kind of tuck and then when you have that leaf, maybe you just have to tear a little bit of it off <laughs> so it will tuck under there closer where you wanted it. And we're gonna peel this little baby off and let's kind of tuck that one maybe. Oops, I kind of want that little, I want the little stem to stick out there. Tuck that one right there. And I like to kind of curl these up a little bit too, right? And then a couple more, just little details. We are gonna add a bumblebee twill ribbon bow. Okay, come on, little piece there. Get that pulling through. Right, okay. Making our bow. Get my scissors. Grab that one there. Okay. I did grab my glue dot. We're gonna put that maybe right about there. Right, I need to trim. I did that at too much of an angle and it's bugging me. Do that one and that one. There we go. And then last step is to add a couple of our champagne rhinestones this time. So I'm gonna do one big one, maybe right about there, and then we're gonna use a couple of little baby ones, okay? So we'll do one there and maybe one right there. And there we go. All right, ladies, what do you think? So we've got a couple of beautiful, right, fall, I thought of you today cards, right? Love, love that stitching on there too, right? Okay, so quick recap is how I always like to end things off, right? And actually this is a $50 order right now to get the projects that I demonstrated and the choice of the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, the, uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me, the iridescent pearls. And then your name also goes in the drawing to win the new stamp and cut and emboss machine. $50 order, get your name in there, right? The other way you can get your name in the drawing for that stamp and cut and emboss machine is if you buy the starter kit through me. So let me know if you guys have any questions. This is the host code you're gonna to wanna to use to order to get your name in the drawing to get these free projects, the PDF tutorial or the iridescent pearls, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching today. It was great to be back with you all. And then like I said, don't forget, I'm not here next Next Friday, but the following Friday, which is on October 2nd, we'll be doing the drawing for the Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine and having lots more fun with more awesome fall projects, right? So thanks, guys. Hope you have a great um, week or two, and we'll be back soon. I'll be on Facebook, though, all, all the next two weeks. So thank you guys so much. I'm so glad you could hang out with me. Bye, everybody. Have a good weekend.